everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. All right, so today I'm super excited. It's one of my favorite videos. I am going to share my June favorites, the products that I've been using the entire month of June and I've been loving them. I don't have anything that I did not like this month. Surprisingly, I, I loved everything that I tried out this month and I have few old products that uh, I did a review but then I did not wear it for a longer time so June was the month where I was wearing it and I fell in love with them. Alright, so I'm not going to do into any specific categories but let me just pick up what's in front of me. So the first is One Size Beauty. So this is a product that was launched this month. I tried, tested it. I wanted to do a full review on it, but I could not. I didn't have the time, but that is the One Size Beauty, their brow products. I love the spoolie. It has a really small spoolie and I also love the tip. It has a really precise tip over here, just like the Benefit Brow, the Benefit Precise uh, Tip Brow. So it is really good. It, I love the formulation. It is not too waxy. At the same time, it is not too rough. It gives you the perfect amount of control. It gives you the perfect amount of precision. So even if I want to draw just stroke of hairs in the front portion of my eyebrow, I'm very easily able to do it. The formulation is in a way that it is really pigmented, but at the same time, if you make a mistake, you can easily wipe it out, but it still remains. The pigmentation lasts the entire day long. I love, love the pencil and I love the brow tint as well it is called the brow kiki uh, so uh, the pencil I use it in dark brown and the brow tint I use it in medium brown I like to go one tone lighter when I use a tint because the tint for some reason it shows too dark on my eyebrows this has also been good so when uh, I don't do a lot of makeup I just do a base that's what I'm gonna talk about next so when I do that portion of the makeup uh, I just use this tint and I'm set for the day. So it's really good, really wonderful. I love these products. Really simple, elegant, beautiful products. And you can find this at Sephora. All right, I can see a theme going on here because there are a lot of products that I'm talking about which comes in as a couple. So they come in pairs. So the next product is, again, I'm going to talk about in a pair because I use this product together and I've been loving it. That is the Fenty Beauty, the Under Eye Brightener and the One Size Beauty, the Powder Foundation. It is a metallic, so you can see all my fingerprints on this. Uh, in the powder foundation, I use it in medium four. That's a golden undertone. And in the eye brightener, I use it in peach 09. So I, I haven't used concealer this entire month. I've just been using this. Uh, first, initially, I started out by just using it as a color corrector and then I used the powder. I didn't feel the need of using a concealer, so I went with my day. I used the same combination for at least 10-15 days. And then once when I used a liquid foundation, uh, I forgot to use this as a color corrector. So over the foundation, I used this and I saw that it works as a concealer as well. So the color is so perfect for me, so I can use it as a concealer. It does have a lot of peachy undertone in it, but I can use it as a concealer and also a color corrector. I've been loving this with any makeup that I'm doing, and I've been loving this for a very simple, everyday makeup. I've recently done a summer proof, sweat proof makeup tutorial. I would link it in the description box below for you if you wanna watch it. And these are the products that I'm using in it, and it is so beautiful for the summertime. I do have slight lines on my under eyes, but this does not emphasize any of those lines, and it still keeps my under eye very smooth, and uh, it doesn't crease at all, it lasts the same entire day long so this is a combination I love them individually and I love them more as a combination so my another favorite for the month of June so the other product has been in the market for a while but I did not give it a try because there are a lot of people who've reviewed it so I do not want to buy some product that I'm not going to review it for y'all uh, just trying to save some bucks over here but this is the all over the face brightening and setting palette from Jaclyn and Cosmetics when I use this. So this, uh, I think she comes in three or four shades. This is light medium and it has peach, almond, light banana and caramel. So this is light, this is light banana and this is caramel. So these are the colors that I can use them together on my under eye and they brighten my under eye 
really good. I'm not sure if it would show me because I've already brightened my under eye. Let me try to pick up a brush. I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I'm just trying to show you if it would still show the difference. I'm just taking the banana. I'm just taking very little. So in just one swipe, see how much it comes. So this is a setting powder, but with a lot of pigmentation. And let me use this mirror. And yeah, it does show a difference. I've just done one swipe and it still shows the difference. It is so brightening now that I've done that side. I want to do this side as well, right? Can you see the difference? This is such a beautiful powder. I don't think it does anything like it blurs your imperfections, but it does brighten. And that's the main thing. It is a brightening and setting palette. It brightens my under eye. It doesn't settle in the creases and it stays the same for the entire day long. And I've been loving it. I use the other shades as well. I just mix it. And if I want to set the lower part of my chin, like if you want to cut the chin over here i use that as well because it gives such a beautiful brightening effect and a little goes a long way so make sure that you use a really fluffy brush for this because if you use a densely packed brush then it would pack the powder on, on your under eye and that would not look really good if you want a brightening but really a natural look then just use a loosely packed a very fluffy brush and use this and it would look so beautiful this you don't get it in sephora this you get it only in ulta and in jacquelinecosmetics.com so another favorite of the month my next favorite is a skincare favorite you know if you watch my videos you know i am a sucker for skincare anything with serums vitamin c uh, sunscreens i love to try and test them so this serum is from derma doctor it is the kakadu c serum i don't know i'm sorry if it is uh, if they are um, running out of it or if they are stopping the production for it i'm not very sure but i found this on ulta i've seen it a lot of times but i always use different vitamin c serums so i never picked it up but this i found it on ulta on sale it was on 50 percent off and then later i found it on costco as well so right now if you have access to costco you can go online and you have a, a duo package of this and this is beautiful this smells like it smells like hot dogs i'm not sure if you would like the smell but that is because it has vitamin c and ferulic acid in it so ferulic acid helps the skin to absorb the vitamin c and vitamin c helps in pigmentation sunspots dark spots acne spots basically in brightening your skin so the combination of ferulic acid and vitamin C is amazing. And I have tried different serums with this combination, uh, but I could not find a serum with this combination that is this economical, so this cost effective. Everything is about the $100, $100 budget. So when I found this, when I tried it for a week, I was amazed. It gives a really beautiful glow, but after some point of time, it gets absorbed into the skin. It has a little bit of tacky feeling in it, but it gets absorbed into the skin but it still gives a beautiful glow and still i go with my moisturizer and sunscreen above it above this but still i love the feel of it i love the way it brightens my skin i love the way it glows my skin i'm so happy i found it i have to do a little more research and see that they are not stopping the production for it because i don't know why it's on sale for so low but yeah this is beautiful i am glad i found a new vitamin c serum all right so the final product is a hair care product uh, I, I, there are just very few brands that I try for hair care. I'm very specific about my hair care. Uh, so I, I've used Briogeo for almost three years now and Briogeo came up with their new line which is, I keep it upside down. <laughs> so this line is the Briogeo Superfood. They have the Superfood line with different uh, ingredients, but this is the Mango and Cherry Balancing Shampoo. So this was uh, basically for oily scalp, oily girls who has an oily scalp. Uh, I do have oily scalp, though I, I can balance the oil on my face. Uh, balancing the oil on my hair was really tough. So when I found a shampoo, they're coming out with a shampoo that balances the oil on your scalp. It's really good. Now, I work out every day, so for me, my scalp gets oily really fast. And from the time I've started using this, I've washed my hair 
just once every three days sometimes every two days but mostly it's once every three days and that has never happened my entire life i used to wash my hair every day because my scalp used to get that oily but since i've started using this i can go even three days without washing my hair i don't like dry shampoos that much so that is why i like to wash my hair every day but since i've started using this it keeps my hair healthy uh, it doesn't make it oily but at the same time it doesn't dry out my hair it doesn't dry out my scalp as well i don't do use a lot of serums i use one serum that is as soon as i wash my hair i use the oil on the tips of my hair so i don't get the split ends but other than that i don't do anything else for my hair and this has been beautiful it smells amazing so it does have the mango and cherry smell but I also get the smell of musk melon. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you know it by the word musk melon. I'll try to put a picture of it over here. But that is how it smells to me. Oh my god, I get so hungry when I use the sand shampoo. It is amazing. The smell doesn't linger on your hair. That is something that I don't like when the fragrance of the shampoo lingers in your hair for a longer time. It's just use the shampoo, wash it off and the fragrance go away with the shampoo. It doesn't mean that your hair stinks, but the smell doesn't linger on your hair for a longer time. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So yeah, these were my favorites for the month of June. If you had any other favorites or if you've tried any new products and you liked it, and you want me to try them let me know in the description box below and i would definitely give it a try if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you all in my next video bye